NFL talk. The, I don't want to. I know. I know, but it, it's big. We got to hit it. The NFL, uh, it was rumored, and now it is no longer rumored. They have announced that they are trimming the preseason from four games down to two. Week one and week four have been scrapped. The league is expected to announce the move tomorrow. Uh, let's see, Ben said, are you guys moving back to the studio or are you going to stay like this? No, we're, we're going back to the studio. So we'll, we'll be doing that today, uh, not today. For the quarantine, this is just the easier way to do it. So we just do it as soon as both of us get off work and, uh, and we're fired up, ready to roll. As far as the NFL stuff, the move was driven by two primary factors. First, teams who will be playing preseason games on the road won't want to move that many people. Second, given that no teams had on-field practice sessions in the offseason, coaches would rather have the extra time to work with their teams, and that will happen if they don't have to worry about two extra preseason games. Already, the Week 4 preseason game is worthless, or more accurately, less worthless than the other preseason games, so it's really only the loss of one preseason game. At, look, starters and whatnot don't play in Week 4. They just don't. No. So, I, I think, you know, we, you and I kind of expected this to happen. Like, this is not a surprise. Um, but what was a surprise is that happens along with the NFL not having a supplemental draft in 2020. They canceled the supplemental draft, yeah. So, it says, although the collective bargaining agreement gives uh, or provides for the possibility of a supplemental draft each year, there is no rule requiring it. It started in 1977 and is intended for college football players whose eligibility status changed after the deadline to enter the regular draft. So, um, last year's supplemental draft saw one player drafted. The Cardinals spent a fifth-round pick on safety Jalen Thompson. This is... the. How do I want to put this? This is not massive, massive news, but it's pretty big when the biggest company, sports-wise in the world is canceling things. So that was my opinion. Yes. The Hall of Fame game didn't concern me a lick because it is an extra preseason game. And I know they don't like four. They, no one cares if these two teams get five. All right. Yeah. And the Hall of Fame is a ceremony. It is, is, it is pageantry, but it is not necessary for your sport. And I fully expected that to be gone. That didn't concern me. We're altering the season. We're altering the preseason. We're altering um, the way teams utilize and build their rosters. That's when I start getting nervous. That's yeah. when I start getting worried. I I sent you a text today. I believe this. I said when I I I've always said this. I've always believed this. As soon as as soon as God starts altering things and canceling things, then I'll get really worried. The NFL in America, in the world of entertainment, in the world of this isn't just just business. I believe these NFL teams control the cities in which they live. You don't believe me? Look how much those cities who are hurting for money all the time still use city funds to fund these stadiums. They are God. When oh, yeah. they start canceling things, that that's that's when I say, okay, all right. This might not go the way I want it to. Yeah, it's I'm I'm not I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy, I'm not at happy all. Either. Um, because I think that this means that we we might we might see some alterations. <laughs> ben said, "Are you still taking the over?" I'm losing all. I'm I'm stopping all action and assuming all those are lost. Yeah, Damian jumps in. He said, NFL is going to be canceled. Trust me, if they canceled the bye weeks, Pro Bowl, Hall of Fame game, and now the preseason, it means it's not going to happen this year. I don't think that's what that means. They, they are canceling the, the things that are I not think necessary. The season. I think they're going to start the season. I yeah. don't know how long it goes, and I don't know what it looks like. I think they are dead set on starting. Yes, I believe that. Because, they, I mean, it's, it's the same as college football. There's too much money to be lost here. The difference is, is these guys are professionals yeah. and they can contractually put language in about COVID where college students don't have that luxury or freedom. Yeah. That's the difference. Now you're, you're dead on with that. You are dead on. And you know, I mean, obviously we will see what happens, but I, it, this is not, this ain't going in the right direction. I'll say that. 
So no. I, I will still take that there will be some fans in the stands. But I think I, that, I think I think if they have games, somebody will be in the stands. I don't know the capacity. I don't think it'll be sellouts like I originally thought the NFL just would not care. I could be wrong on that. They might say, look, we're going to take precautions when we get to this point. But once we start live play, it we're might doing be, it. Yeah, they, they might just cut it out. So with that said, we'll jump off of the NFL because that is just too much negativity for me. And we'll move.